Imagine, if you dare, a relentless onslaught of incisions, each tearing through your flesh mercilessly until you can no longer keep count. Your body, once whole, becomes a gruesome picture of exposed bones and searing wounds. Bound by unforgiving restraints on a wooden frame, every nerve in your body screams for mercy while your eyes witness the horrors your executioner inflicts upon you. With each passing moment, your existence hangs precariously, as if suspended by a frayed thread, until you've eventually plunged into eternal darkness. In that chilling moment, you become a mere memory, a tragic casualty of the brutal punishment called Ling Chi. Some of the things discussed in this video may be offensive or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Ming Dynasty In the chronicles of Imperial China in the 10th century, a dark chapter unfolds in the distant past involving one of the deadliest punishments ever to have graced Chinese history, the Ling Qi, also known as Death by a Thousand Cuts. During the reign of the second emperor of the Ming Dynasty, the Zhuangwen Emperor from 1398 to 1402, there resided a trusted bureaucrat of the esteemed Hainlin Academy, Fang Xiaoru, who held the position of teacher to the emperor himself. Despite being well aware of critical challenges faced by the imperial throne, Fang Xiaoru remained a loyalist to the Zhuangwen Emperor. Meanwhile, it was an era overshadowed by the looming threat of Zhu Di, an uncle to the Zhanwen Emperor, who harbored ambitions to seize the throne, compelling the Emperor to flee. But when Zhu Di, the Yanghu Emperor, took over the throne, he needed to solidify his newly acquired power. Thus, he commanded Wang Xiaoru to draft a proclamation affirming his ascension to the throne. However, in an act of unwavering defiance, Xiao Ru refused to comply. Enraged by his insubordination, the Yongle Emperor issued a chilling ultimatum, threatening to execute Xiao Ru through a 10 familiar execution, an appalling method involving killing groups of individuals connected by blood or allegiance. However, undeterred by the looming threat, Fang Xiao Ru accepted his impending execution and was sentenced to death by the Ling Chi. The Ling Chi penalty was a horrific execution that entailed binding the condemned individual to a wooden frame. At the same time, an executioner inflicts a series of cuts, tearing deep into the body parts until the prisoner's last breath. It was a punishment reserved solely for the most heinous crimes, such as treason or murder. However, the number of incisions varied. Some accounts of the Wan Dynasty speak of a hundred incisions, while under the Ming Dynasty, some instances recorded up to 3,000 cuts. The process, although relatively swift, lasted mostly 15 to 20 minutes. Nevertheless, Fang Xiaoru was made to watch the brutal murders of over 800 of his family members, their spouses, friends, peers, and students before he was cut into several pieces. But legend has it, in his final moments, Fang Xiaoru dipped his fingers into blood, using it to inscribe the characters of the Chinese word for usurper. And as centuries passed, more and more rulers employed the use of the Ling Qi. Xingdi Emperor In the epic of the Xingdi Emperor, the 11th sovereign of the Ming Dynasty, whose dominion endured from 1505 to 1521, a peasant from Beijing stirred a great controversy that rocked the imperial court. The Xingdi Emperor was known for his childish behavior and his favoritism towards the Anuks, which led to him misusing his power. However, a commoner named Zhang Wang found himself at the center of a raging storm with the Emperor when he made a bold claim in 1506. He asserted that the birth mother of the newly crowned emperor was not Empress Zhang, but his daughter, Zhang Jinlian. 
The Emperor was exceedingly enraged by this audacious claim and ordered Zhang Wang to be executed by the gruesome method of Ling Chi, cutting him into several pieces. But despite the Xingdi Emperor's favoritism towards the Anuks, one of his trusted and powerful Anuks, Liu Jin, met a tragic end in 1510. Liu Jin was accused of arrogating power and offending the Emperor, and thus punished with Ling Chi for three harrowing days with an unbelievable 3,300 slices. It was reported that after Liu Jin's death, some people in Beijing who were consumed by anger ate his flesh with wine. King Dynasty During the ancient era of the Great King Dynasty, an empire under Manchu rule that flourished from 1636 to 1912, many punishments were employed, inherited from the preceding Ming Dynasty. Among these ghastly penal practices, one notorious method stood out. Ling Chi, also called the death by a thousand cuts or slow slicing. The earliest recorded account of Ling Chi's employment in the Qing Dynasty traces back to the reign of Hu's Prince Su, a prominent Manchu prince and son of the dynasty's founding emperor, Hong Taji. Prince Su's tenure extended from 1636 to 1648, during which he resorted to the Ling Chi execution method to punish and execute He Luhui and Hu Qi for their grievous transgressions of defamation against the esteemed prince. However, after the reigns of the first and second emperors, Ling Chi's cruel specter resurfaced again, casting its dark shadow upon the Qing dynasty. Kang Ji Emperor in the imperial 15th century, the third ruler of the Qing dynasty, Kang Ji Emperor, was renowned as one of China's most extraordinary emperors and longest reign. During his reign, he ushered in an era of stability and relative prosperity after years of turmoil and war. Yet, amidst his notable achievements, the Kang Ji Emperor employed resolute methods when faced with offenders and rebels who threatened the Qing dynasty's authority. And in 1674, Gang Jingzhong, one of the feudatories alongside Wu Sangyu and Shang Xingjin, dared to rebel against the reigning Qing dynasty. However, this audacious act sent anguish through the imperial court, prompting swift action from the Qing armies. And in 1676, Gang's forces were defeated, while the other two lords managed to evade capture. However, Gang Jingzhong's treachery would not go unpunished. In 1681, the Kangxi Emperor issued a decree for Gang's execution on treason charges, subjecting him to the brutal method of Ling Chi, where his punishment would be exacted through a series of severe cuts. However, Gang Jingzhong was not the only victim of Ling Chi's relentless torment during Kangxi's Emperor's reign. The year 1721 also witnessed the rise of another rebel, Zi Yugai, a humble duck farmer who dared to challenge the authority of the Qing Dynasty from his post in Taiwan. Driven by resentment over the governor's leniency towards his son's misdeeds, Zhu Yigai took up arms in rebellion, harboring hopes of reinstating the glorious Ming Dynasty. However, his aspirations were swiftly quelled and he was exiled to Beijing where an ironic twist of destiny awaited him. There, the Kangxi Emperor, ever persistent in maintaining his sovereignty, condemns Zhu Yigai to the severe punishment of Ling Chi, subjecting him to a thousand cuts. Nevertheless, Ling Chi went beyond the reign of the Kangxi Emperor, as subsequent rulers and emperors within the Qing Dynasty would continue to mat out this horrifying punishment. Xi Ping Emperor in 1803, the Xiaiping Emperor held the throne of the Qing Dynasty. During this time, a startling conspiracy unfolded, planned by Chen Di. Chen Di was a chef who had fallen on hard times and hatched a daring plan to assassinate the Emperor. However, Chen Di's plot was discovered before he could act, and he was swiftly captured and punished to death by the Ling Chi method. But Chen Di was not the only offender to suffer under this brutal punishment under the Zhang Ping reign. Another man, Zhang Langbai, whose crimes against children were so horrendous that they defied description, faced a similar fate. Zhang Langbai was a sexual predator 
who had preyed upon the innocence of 16 young girls, leading to 11 deaths. Finally, in 1811, Zhang Lengbai was captured and brought before the court of law. He was found guilty and sentenced to the Ling Chi Method. Taiping Heavenly Kingdom Amidst the turbulent times of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, the abhorrent practice of Ling Chi persisted, haunting the pages of history with its gruesome legacy. And one of the most celebrated generals of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, Shi Dekai, did not escape its grasp, succumbing to its harrowing and fatal fate. Following a devastating flood that left Shi Dekai and his troops stranded and vulnerable, the brave general made a heart-wrenching decision to surrender to the king forces, hoping to spare the lives of his remaining soldiers. However, this surrender only led to a more terrible fate. Rather than soaring at his soldiers, he and his loyal subordinates were swiftly condemned to execution using the Ling Chi method. It was also reported that despite the unbearable agony wrapping around his body during his execution, Shi Dekai never wavered. He even scolded his subordinates for crying out during their grueling ordeal. But Shi Dekai was not the only victim of such a gruesome end during the reign of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom under the Qing Dynasty. Hong Zhuquan, the 14-year-old son of the Heavenly King, met the same dreadful fate when he was captured by the famous general Shen Baozhen, also known as Hong Tianjufu. And also, in the year 1855, another general of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, Li Fangsheng, met his end through Ling Chi at the Beijing Kashikau Execution Grounds, joining the ranks of those who suffered this cruel fate. However, with the 1905 revision of the Chinese Penal Code by the distinguished Shen Xiaobin, Ling Chi's reign of terror finally ended, bringing the measure of justice and relief to those who had suffered its atrocities. But before its abolition in China, it had already been reported to have extended beyond the borders of China finding its place in Vietnam's dark history. So, there you have it. That will be all for today. If you like our video, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to hit that subscribe button until we come your way again with an insane story. Bye for now.